Danny, I'm home. Just want to let you know, Mom and I are going on a date tonight. What's wrong, kiddo? Tell me all about it. Aww. Yeah, I hear where you're coming from, Fanny, but the important thing to remember is that sometimes us adults, we need our alone time. It's important that me and your mom get out and have that time to ourselves. Um, plus, we wouldn't want you to feel like a third wheel. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's been a good week. I'm here today to share with you my progression so far on the Fanatec CSL DD. It's been good. We got a lot of stuff to cover, uh, but it all started last Friday. I actually left for the weekend, so I actually had three days away this week. Uh, I was with my, my dudes, my bandmates, and we got really drunk, uh, and I got really drunk for the first time in like five years. Here's what that looked like. It's like 4 a.m., and this is what my bandmates are doing. I don't know what that noise but I love and I hate these guys so much. I don't know why you'd want to see that, but I showed you anyway. But if you really wanted to know what my weekend was all about, um, here's a clip of my buddy Dan and I uh, soaking it all in. Now I feel it's important you see that clip because Dan is coming up later in this video. He's gonna drive for the first time on this Fanatec wheel uh, and we're gonna we're gonna check that out. So the big one, we hit 500 subscribers this week. So Whitney and I, my wife, got on a video. Uh, it was a big wife reveal, you know, uh, flexing on you boys, flexing. And then we announced we are doing a drift competition on Car X. Um, big mistake there. We're gonna keep live streaming for you guys night after night. Uh, but but here's some highlights from how how good we're doing. That is so hard, I don't, which, you know, leads most people to saying, like, right here, break. Right here, break. Break, and if you do it just right with enough gas in between, uh, they're, they're kind of going, wow, those curbs are no joke. Yeah, maybe we set the bar a little bit high with that competition. Gold, gold's gonna be hard. Uh, if you wanna check that out, I'll link it below. So now, I've got somebody else driving on my wheel. I've had a couple people driving on my wheel this week. You know, just really, just, Everybody driving on my wheel. So in case you guys have never invited somebody over to try your sim rig, I learned something new. It's really hard to just be quiet while they're doing it because you're excited and you want them to experience what you have. Uh, but I did my best just to shut my stupid mouth and let Dan do his thing, you know? You feel it when it hooks up, man. It matters. I can't see. Slow it. Slow it. It's tight as fuck. Man, that's not the road. This is rally. Oh no. Easy. Five right. Fifty. Six right. Tight as four. Short. Pass junction. It's a six left. Thirty. Drift. Jump, okay. anyway. Damn it, Dan, we need to go. Uh, here's a couple more clips of Dan. If I embarrass myself, Dan's gonna get embarrassed a little bit too. Uh, hello everybody, my name's Dan. Away from it, we didn't play it for a long time. But also, watching these numbers climb on my subscribers up to like 700 is pretty cool, but I'm seeing dollar signs now. But not for the reason you think. I know you guys are like, oh, he's getting greedy. But really, um, the more, if I make money on this, I'm just gonna, I can finally afford more colored flannels. I spent all the money on the wheel and uh, I feel like you guys are sick of looking at this uh, green flannel that's a little too short for me. Um, so if we could get some subscribers then I can maybe buy a red one and that would be dope. Some things I learned this week. One big thing I learned was some new terms. There's terms everywhere when you're racing. Uh, lots of things to learn. And uh, I played a lot of Assetto Corsa Com com uh, competitive com comp competition uh, yeah well I am not I am underestimating that turn oh no oh guys 
Uh, the car, I think the car is, uh, it's the alignment off in my car? So what's the, what's the recommendation here? We got possibly one lap left. Do I pit? Or do I just say, I'm racing the track like this? <laughs> you broke the car, stay out. Okay. Okay, good advice. I don't know what's happening. Are they waiting for me? <laughs> what's going on? Hold on, I'm gonna check the comments. What is happening? It's a rolling start. Okay, I, okay. All right, we're gonna. I guess they're waiting for me. Yeah, let's go, guys. The car in, put the car in gear, mate. <laughs> is there like a limiter on right now? I learned all kinds of stuff in that game, uh, like different colored flags. Uh, I thought one guy, I thought every corner I went around, some guy was surrendering on the sidelines, waving that white flag. At one point I almost called for help. Um, I learned yellow flag means slow car ahead. I had a really rough time learning pit stops. Terrifying. I would, every, every time I'd go to pit, I'd lose everything. Uh, so roll that footage. Okay, I'm trying here, I'm trying here to, oh God damn it. So this is it, boys. Oh! See, this is where I lose time. Oh my God. I don't. Okay, I get it now. I eventually got it though. Now I know most of the ins and outs of pulling into the pit, just not fast at it, but I'm getting quicker. Uh, I also learned my favorite term of the week from uh, K Dog, Kev Dog, Kevin. You know, you, if you've been on live stream, you know Kevin. He dropped the term sausage curves, um, which gave me quite the laugh. Today's sausage curb. Be a great name for like a tavern, the sausage curb. Quick side note, I see all these YouTubers that have these uh, custom liveries on their car. Uh, I'm eventually gonna have to have one of those if somebody's talented enough to make it. Um, it needs to say like road to racer on the side um, and on the back it needs to say uh, show me your curb sausage or something, something cool. Um, that'd be sweet. Also, my, my wife is very funny. This week, uh, I told her we were discussing YouTube's, YouTube algorithm stuff, scientist stuff, and I informed her that the shorts were not performing that well, um, and she said, have you tried posting pants? And it still makes me laugh a little bit, so kudos to her, it's funny. I learned another cool term this week, somebody in my chat dropped in, couldn't find it back, but someone in my chat did drop in and they said, setup is cold. And I thought they were talking about tires or something, and I, I said, uh, said, hey man, sorry, I don't know what that means. And he said, well, um, cold is like fire, cool. Like it's, your setup is cool. And I was like, wait, cold means fire now. And I was like, sorry dude, I, I'm 31, I might, might be out on that one. And someone who was 31 also in chat said, hey, I'm 31 also, how did you not know that? Um, so I guess now, uh, cool means fire, fire means cool, and all these opposite things mean the same thing. So I'm learning a lot in chat, thank you. But man, have we live streamed this week. Every day I've went into live stream with a new purpose. I'm gonna learn this, I'm gonna learn that. And chat has come through. You guys are in chat throwing me good suggestions. Every now and then there's a bad suggestion, but I expect that. I expect there to be things that don't work for me um, that maybe work for you, but that's okay. Uh, take it in strides. So we had a, a celebrity stop by chat this week, I guess. Uh, everybody was very excited about it. I had no clue who they were talking about. But a man by the name of Kirith, now I know, stopped by and uh, gave me some tips live on stream. And one of them was uh, to drop that steering angle down a little bit. He dropped me from 900 to 720, told me to start there, uh, adjusted some sensitivity stuff, and I was feeling good. So thanks, Kirith, for that. Some people didn't agree with his sense settings, but uh, the man's validated. He's validated. So I'm going to take his advice. Love you. This week was all about improving drive lines for me. It was about improving my braking points. And all these came, things came from disabling my uh, ideal line. I would like to talk about that for a moment, the dreaded ideal line subject. Now I can tell you this week, I had a lot of people tell me, turn off the line, turn off the line. I turn off the line, and then a lot of people come in and say, turn on the line, turn on the line. So it's like this big, I see that's a contention point online. I also see both sides. I've asked about all of it. I see both sides very clearly. Um, and I can tell you my stance on it right now 
is that it depends on what kind of learner you are. Um, I think that's genuinely true. Me, if, this, if the line is on, you guarantee that I am only looking at that line and nothing else. Um, I turned the line off and with some discipline, I was able to start picking apart uh, markers for my braking and I started figuring things out and I'm getting more comfortable with it. Uh, it is tough. I think it's a good idea to run the driving line on a course for a while um, until you know it better and then maybe turn it off. Um, also, for all I care, race with it on all the time. If that's the way you like to race, you do you. That's what this is about. Um, Kierith also said something while he was in my chat uh, and I love it. He said, most of this stuff is personal preference. And I think some people lose sight of that. So keep that in mind this week. But yeah, big shout out to chat. You guys were huge this week. You guys saw me have some big wins, some big losses. Appreciate you being there. And there was a lot of live stream, guys. A lot. A lot. I'm still, I'm bulking up. Shoulders are bulking up. I mean, I'm, pretty soon I won't be able to fit through the door, is what I'm trying to say. Coming. Hello? Sup, old dude? I'm here to take Fanny out on a date. <laughs> oh, well, I hate to inform you this, but Fanny's wheel sick today. I checked her temperature early and she's about 900 degrees, so she can't come down. <laughs> uh, guys, I think I'm, I think I'm out on the sitcom thing. I don't, yeah, no, let's cut it. Let's cut it. I don't really think it's that funny and I kind of just want to move on. So yeah, that'd be great. Here we are at the end of another video, and I'm gonna do something I normally don't do, and that is give a tip. I normally don't give tips because I just started, but my tip for today is that you got into sim racing or whatever hobby you're doing because you love it. You know how to enjoy it yourself, and what about it makes you feel great. Uh, hold on to that. I asked for help um, when I started this channel. I'm still asking for help, and I appreciate that help, and it helps me grow. I've also seen the toxic side of that already and um, from people telling me how I'm supposed to enjoy a game to what I should play over this because I'll never be good at this if I'm doing this. Um, I'm gonna continue to get better at racing and that, there's no doubt about that. It's already showing, I'm getting good. But I'm just here to say that if you have something you love, don't get caught up on all the technicals. You do it because you love it. So the second you stop doing it, the way you wanna do it is when things could possibly slip into absolute Madness. What's going on? I said I was done with the sitcom format. I don't want to. I don't want to do it anymore. Hello. <laughs> well, well, I guess. Um, I guess we'll just end this video like we normally do. Um, I'm in my MX-5, and let's go for a mountain drive. Where's my wheel? <laughs> Where'd my wheel go? Hello? Where's my wheel? Fanny? 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 Where is everyone? Where am I? Why are you laughing? What is happening? I just want to play my game. Hello?